What's up guys? Darkcrash17 here, uh, reviewing Bleach, chapter 555. I apologize for the chapters um, being out late this week. Uh, I am kind of sort of still not in exams, but I have a lot of big essays and stuff that I haven't really started yet, and I'm starting to do last minute. So yeah, that's what's kept me like uh, on my toes. Anyways, let's start off with this chapter. Um, Bleach. Chapter 555, a pretty good chapter. Um, I don't really have many complaints. It was titled The Hero, by the way. It was pretty simple. Could have been better, in my opinion. It wasn't too bad. Um, pretty straightforward. Uh, obviously, as we expected, as we were told last chapter, the person on the phone was Ichigo. And it just so happens that he finished his training with um, the Royal Guard and finished and he's coming back to Soul Society to help fight the Van der Weide. And so yeah, then he, and then we we're shown, what's his name, uh, Ometsu, or yeah, the, the god of, of Zanpakuto there. Uh, he tries to like tease Ichigo a little bit and he expects him to like, um, uh, he expects him to cave in, like, you know, cause Ichigo, like he's so gullible and he falls for everything. And he gets mad like very easily, but instead he doesn't. And he's like, oh, I'm a little surprised about that. Nah, 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 nah. And then there's the other captain over there. Um, not the captain, the, well, the other royal guard. Um, one of the other captains of the royal guard, the, what's his name? Uh, Ichibi, I think his name was. Ooh, Ichibe. Anyway, Ichibe. And he comes and he's showing, he, he comes up to Ichigo and he's laughing. He's like, ho, 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 ho. And he's all like, uh, yeah, Ichigo, Ichigo got more mature. It's not that he got stronger, he got more mature. And he's like, in other words, he got stronger. And he's like, and the other guy's like, really? You had to say that? You couldn't have just... So it was a little, I like that little joke. It was pretty funny. And, uh, and then there, he, he came to tell Ichigo that, like, oh, by the way, the war started three hours ago. And at this point, Ichigo fucking bolts down the stairs that Senjumaru, I think, like, created. And as soon as I saw these stairs, I instantly, instantly, like, the way they were made, like, I guess the shape or whatever, like, I thought about, and especially how he was flying down them, I thought about Dragon Ball Z. And how when uh, Goku had to fucking go all the way to King Kai's place, or back from King Kai's place on Snake's Way. And I was like, oh my god, Snake's Way, right here. And and so I found that pretty cool. I found that pretty funny. And right before um, he goes down, uh, what's her name? Uh, Kirie, the girl, the, the one that likes food there. The royal guy that likes food. She passes him a, a, what do you call those things? A rice ball. And the, supposedly she tells him that the rice ball is, he should only take it halfway through his battle if he needs it like if he needs it halfway well not halfway through his battle but i have a feeling it's hinted to be for halfway through his battle she says it halfway through the trip but i'm guessing by trip it could be foreshadowing to be like the battle you know what i mean like i don't really see it exactly only as um the trip like i mean come on you know what i mean and he's flying on top of it and falling it's not like he's like you know making really working for it um, then after that, um, pretty much Ichigo's falling down, well, falling down, fly. he flies down like a jet, and he says thank you to the freaking girl, and they note, especially her, she notes that Ichigo has been, has gotten different, like I said before, it's not that he got different, he got more mature, which I find interesting, I like that Ichigo got more, got more mature, and I remember at one point he says, he says to what's his name, like, I don't mean to sound like an arrogant prick, but those battles over there, even if they get, re even, even if they get really lopsided, please tell them to hold on until I get there. I'll definitely do something about them. Like, I like especially how it was portrayed. Like when Uraha heard this, you see his face and like you noted, he know he knew that like Ichigo became more mature. Now, in my opinion, Ichigo, generally speaking, is not a very good um, protagonist. But I do appreciate that it took, that he actually became more mature. It only took Ichigo 555 chapters. But 
at least we can see now that for his final battle, he is going to be a little bit more ready, mature, um, uh, composed, uh, and so on and so forth. Then we skip... Um, that was actually the beginning of the chapter. Then we skip to uh, Shinji and that girl over there after she awakened her voleur, voleur or something, whatever it's called. And it freaking, she looks like a freaking angel with weird wings that aren't really sticking and, and like a star on her head and a cape and like a whole bunch of stuff. And I found that pretty cool. Like it was a pretty good costume, whatever, like form I suppose um and then Shinji's like what the hell and he's like and then he gets like shot right here with like a giant beam or whatever beam explosion bomb I couldn't tell and then we cut to those other girls that previously this girl was looking for I forget her name now L Lily Lollipop I forget her name anyway there's so many freaking weird names for girls in this chapter I don't I don't remember anyway so anyway the girl this girl, um, one of the one, Van der Weyck, um, she, she's like, uh, the, the, the girl she was looking for last chapter, uh, we cut to a scene with them, and they're like, oh, I just figured out that what's her name, Awa like, awakened her, van her volley, volley, whatever the hell, her, like, her special technique, and, and, uh-oh, that's not cool, because, like, the fact that she was one of the first ones to awaken it means that she's fucking pissed. And I go, well, yeah, I sure hope so. Um, but that aside, as they go, it's like her power, uh, what, what, what kind of intrigued me was the last thing they said that it's really interesting um, when I read this, I says, oh, but this, anyway, let me just tell you what they said. Uh, so they go, oh, now that she awakened, the fact that on top of that power, the fact that she has a few screws loose, she has a power to end this war right here and right now. Big statement there. Big ass statement. Ending the war. That tells us that this girl, this puny little runt thing that complains and acts like a spoiled brat, has the power with her Volovic to end the war. Interesting. Now, I don't know if that's just them talking with their head, um, with their ego super high, but this just goes to show, like I said, like I said last chapter, if this could have ended the war, why did they steal the Bankai? I'm still pondering this subject. Why was their Bankai stolen? For like, it, and it was stolen, and they got him back the chapter after. I think they killed like two people, other than Yamamoto. Like, if the if there if okay, I understand what they did against Yamamoto because Yamamoto's Bankai is kind of OP, and he is the king of kings, and so on and so forth, but. The fact that they use it on everybody else, and at the same time, didn't fucking, like, they could, if their volify, if their ability was stronger than the Bankai, which it is, because it's confirmed that now that they have their Bankai back, the captains, the fact that they have their, their technique, their uh, volify technique, and they said that now they can, end, that girl can end the war with just her technique, and she's like one of the, I'm guessing, weaker, um, uh, what do you call those, uh, uh, Stern, Stern Ritter, Stern Ritters. Um, I'm guessing she's one of the weaker ones. And the fact that she could end the war, and while the captains currently have their Bankai, kind of tells me, like, you kind of wasted all this time when you could have just, like, annihilated them right away, or, like, used your OP Volivike attack. Or, I don't know, maybe, like, I'm just speculating. I'm just giving my analogy, uh, my critical analysis on it. It could be that they wait, needed to wait for it to charge or something, or they needed a certain, like, to wait for something. Like, 
like certain attacks like you have to wait 10,000 years like for example in Naruto I don't know if any of you watch Naruto but in Naruto you have to wait uh, I think it's every thousand years for um, uh, Shisui's uh, Mangi Kyoshangan ability to work maybe something like that I don't know anyways like I said we'll see um, overall pretty good chapter it ends with that little with that girl like standing like epically it was actually a pretty epic last scene uh, it was pretty good it was pretty well portrayed uh, the art is always very good, especially like detail-wise with uh, Kubo and and stuff. So yeah, uh, a pretty good chapter, I suppose. Like I said, though, the only thing is um, it hindered, like it, it kind of just fed more to my argument last week that I had last week about why they didn't just obliterate them uh, right then and there. But whatever, we'll see. Uh, take a few points off for that, but uh, generally a pretty good chapter, like I said, simple, nothing too big, uh, not really anything exciting other than Ichigo coming with his new clothes to the battlefield now and his two new um, swords, uh, well, sword, uh, and yeah, that's about it, uh, 7.5 I think is a pretty good rating for this week. Uh, can't wait. That's about it for today. Have a great uh, rest of the week, guys. Sorry for the review being all kind of late. Like I said, I was a little busy. Uh, have a great rest of the week. Good luck for you, for those of you who are in exams, in essays, and so on and so forth. Uh, and I'll see you guys next Wednesday or Tuesday. Take care, guys.